Hello guys, welcome to the first Tibet tutorial for uh, Dune 2K. Now, probably you are wondering what Tibet is. Well, it's pretty much the program that is used to create Dune 2K mods. So you can modify um, units, buildings, even change weapons and shit like this. So first of all, what you want to do is open up your favorite browser and you're gonna obviously have to download the tool and I know for our Command & Conquer games uh, people are using are editing INI files and they say that Tibet is breaking shit up well Tibet is the only way you can mod Dune so you're gonna have to use it so go ahead to tibet.net and right here you see the downloads button you are gonna hit this and actually you're gonna need the the this version 1.71 because the other one is only for generals zero hour and command and conquer three yes yeah, so we're gonna have to click this we're gonna do it it's gonna start in a few seconds probably and I already have it so I'm not gonna go and install it it's quite easy actually you're just you know opening it then it asks you for a bunch of settings it asks you what um, what games you want to mod so it can install the file for it you know I didn't. you're gonna see it's quite easy okay so let's open this I already have it installed. And for the first time, I highly recommend that you. Alright, so first, you see this. If you installed every pack, so for every game, you're gonna see the, the exactly this thing here. So you're gonna have to click Dune, Dune 2000, and go to Preferences. Um, it's frozen, oh yeah and the, the game directory here you're gonna have to put your obviously your directory and I highly recommend that you are starting with a fresh dune because you know that's the best way to do when you're modding and also to have backups uh, Tibet does make backups automatically so you don't have to worry about that Okay, so let's say you've you've done this. I'm gonna hit OK and OK again. This note just tells you uh, a very important thing, actually, which is uh, that you cannot add new units, buildings, weapons, or warheads to the game because that's how the engine is. It doesn't support that. Although you can edit useless units or things you don't need and make them very different like they were new okay it's loading now okay so um, I'm not gonna co cover the settings in this tutorial I'm gonna just talk about the menu and general stuff we're gonna cover our settings and how to actually work with it in later tutorials so first We've got um, right here on the left sidebar. We've got a few uh, sections here: armor.ini, buildx.ini, speed.ini, and templates.ini. So basically, uh, the things you're gonna work with. Now, units is pretty self-explanatory. I know they're actual, actually the units from the game. Um, we have, you can see the settings right here. Buildings, again, pretty self-explanatory. Can you see all the buildings here? Weapons. Um, this is people usually confuse weapons with warheads, and we're going to talk about the differences and how to combine the two in the later tutorials. For now, these are the weapons that units are using. You can see if we click for example this orders combat tank and we go to weapons primary is set to this value which 
which can be found here actually see alright so that's what we got here explosions I've never worked with these so but I know that it can uh, make the game very unstable so you don't really need these in general I have no idea what this is and I highly doubt you are gonna need them so just leave those two alone speeds this is uh, the speed for each type of unit flying which is carrial on thopters infantry tracked which is tanks pretty much and wheeled which is light vehicles I also don't recommend really playing with these you, you really don't need them okay um, building data also um, lots of things that I can't really tell you about because I don't I, I don't really know tolls again lots of unknown things armor types again not really needed and warheads we're gonna have to work with these warheads so this is important but we're gonna talk about this later okay about the top we got the same thing here but in a drop down menu features we have who uses what the browser which I found it very useful for example if you want to modify a weapon and you want to know which units will get affected by this modifications you're gonna have to see this so let's say this is uh, Orbus combat tank weapon so let's see which unit uses it so we got the uh, combat tanks cool well it's a pretty useful tool actually alright what else we got same thing here but on some sort of horizontal menu and uh, <coughs> alright we got remove changes from the game which is actually it removes everything and restores the backup but the real backup I mean the vanilla dune so if you messed up something or you just want to go back to the default just hit this and it should be okay save changes to the game right here this will apply your modifications to the game and run game this will actually start the game you know preferences is just what you've signed in the beginning um, auto save pretty self, self explanatory program is frozen yeah we're gonna have to wait for this to restore but anyway I think I, I've covered everything for this tutorial and it seems this one is not gonna cooperate for now so in next tutorials we're gonna see how to edit the units how to modify them and how to make cool stuff so make sure you you keep updated alright thanks for watching and see ya